Quiero una Colombia fuerte, justa y unida. Los retos y desafíos que tenemos como nación exigen una etapa de unidad y consensos básicos. Thousands of people gathered at Plaza Bolivar in Bogota, Colombia to attend the swearing in ceremony of newly elected president and vice president Gustavo Petro and Francia Marquez. The two candidates of the historic pact coalition represent a major shift in the politics of the country. Theirs is the first left-wing government in Colombia. The ceremony took place on August 7th, which was also the 203rd anniversary of the country's independence from Spain. Juro a Dios y prometo al pueblo cumplir fielmente la Constitución y las leyes de Colombia. Juro a Dios y al pueblo cumplir fielmente la Constitución y las leyes de Colombia. También juro ante mis ancestros y ancestras hasta que la dignidad se haga costumbre. In his speech Petro vowed to work for true and lasting peace, fight inequalities and protect the most marginalized and excluded in society. He said he will not allow greed to put biodiversity and the environment at risk. He vowed to fight against corruption, promote science and culture and abide by the constitution. Petro promised to defend human rights, develop the national economy and engage in dialogue with all sectors to build a better Colombia. For many the inauguration of Petro and Marquez has marked the beginning of a new era of peace and social justice in Colombia. While swearing in Marquez, Petro gave his first order as president and asked the military chief to bring liberator Simón Bolívar's sword to the ceremony. Un orden, una orden del mandato popular y de este mandatario. Señores de la Casa Militar, traigan la espada de Bolívar ante el pueblo, ante el Congreso, ante el Estado. The outgoing president Ivan Duque had earlier denied Petro permission to bring out the sword during his inauguration. According to the team of transfer of command, Petro had expressed to Duque his wish for Bolivar's sword to be part of the presidential inauguration. The organizers of the event had managed to get all the permits required for its transfer from the Casa de Narino to the Bolivar Plaza. However, Duque denied its departure citing safety reasons. Es la espada del pueblo. Y por eso la queríamos aquí. Bolivar's sword is a symbol of freedom, unity, hope and life for Colombians as well as Venezuelans, Ecuadorians, Peruvians and Bolivians. Under outgoing president Ivan Duque, Colombia experienced a period of heightened insecurity, human rights violations, violence and a deepening of the economic crisis. His presidency was marked by an increasing number of attacks against human rights defenders and social activists. This year alone until August 1st, the Institute of Development and Peace Studies had recorded 58 massacres which had resulted in 205 deaths. While Duque publicly denounced drug trafficking and drug use, his government was seen to be acting in the interests of drug traffickers and the corrupt. Duque's war on drugs which he waged in close alliance with the United States has been seen as a major failure which only resulted in needless violence and tragedy. Gustavo Petro has announced he will take a decidedly different approach. Claro que la paz es posible si se cambia, por ejemplo, la política contra las drogas. Que la guerra contra las drogas ha llevado a los estados a cometer crímenes. Nuestro estado ha cometido crímenes. Vamos a esperar que otro millón de latinoamericanos caigan asesinados o más bien cambiamos el fracaso por un éxito que permita que Colombia y Latinoamérica puedan vivir en paz. Llegó el momento de cambiar la política antidrogas en el mundo para que permita la vida y para que no genere la muerte. 
Petro will also be shifting from Duque's position towards Venezuela, which was in line with the dictates of the United States. Petro has said he will recognize Venezuela's government under President Nicolas Maduro, and the two countries will work together. Maduro sent a video message to Petro congratulating him on his victory. Por la paz de Colombia, por la paz de Venezuela. Felicidades. Felicidades a toda Colombia. Felicidades, Presidente Petro. Suerte. Que Dios lo bendiga. Petro and Marquez's inauguration was attended by delegations from across the globe, including Argentine President Alberto Fernandez, Bolivian President Luis Arce, Honduran President Xiomara Castro, Chilean President Gabriel Boric, Ecuadorian President Guillermo Lasso, among others.